Hello everyone, I'm NJ Kelly, and today we're going to plant some strawberries in honor of little NJ. Let's go ahead and get started. So, in front of me is two different varieties of strawberries. As you all know, we love our strawberries here in our family's garden. And one of the varieties that we always um, consume from is the Albion strawberry. This year, we decided to go with two different varieties, an Everbearing and a Juneberring. Juneberring is basically a variety that you get from one season only, basically like one harvest or two, and that's it compared to Everbearing, you'll get multiple harvests from that variety in multiple seasons. And so this year we have a variety Everbearing, which is called Quinault, okay? A nice sweet strawberry, not big as the Albion, which is another Everbearing strawberry, okay? However, this other one we have here is called Sequoia. Sequoia is considered a June bearing, which basically, like I told you, it's only a one-time deal. So what we're going to do is put the Sequoia in this container and we're going to split the Quinault with the Albion and we're going to put um, three in another container so that we can get a nice harvest uh, for some, uh, some strawberries for, for our family and of course little NJ because it's all about strawberries when it comes to him and garden so let's get started so my, my I already know that my soil is already moist and one of the things that I have not done is basically uh, use any compost or anything of that nature the only thing that was admitted into this container was uh, some earthworm castings I think about it um, for a minute one of the things that you want to remember when you plant when you transplant strawberries is that you do not transplant the crown okay and this variety again that we're transplanting in this container is the sequoia and this right here is your crown right there so when you when you're planting you just want to make sure that you're not adding a whole bunch of soil on top of the crown can basically can uh, mess up the root system uh, one of the things I'm going to do is water this these strawberries because as you can see it's not that moist uh, and I did that on purpose so I can water it in this container a great trans uh, a great companion plant for strawberries is spinach and as you all know I did that uh, uh, last year and also we did uh, we did a companion plant with sweet alyssum, okay, which is also can be a nice companion plant. And a fertilizer I am using, oh, let me just put some some of this in here, is the Ivy Organics All Purpose Fertilizer, you all, is what I'm using. Remember to wear gloves, you all, when you're messing in your soil, don't do what I'm doing. Uh, 
I wouldn't recommend it at all. And so these strawberries are thirsty for real. <laughs> it was a hot one today, unfortunately. And now the wind is kicking our tail for some reason this morning, but that, this at this evening, but that's okay. And so they look kind of upset with me right now, but they're gonna perk back up because we're gonna give them some, some water and some compost tea as well. I still have some remaining uh, fertilizer in here. Okay. Moves out the way now. And this year, we're going to allow it to be companion planted with our dinosaur tree cow, perennial tree cow. So, that is this container. I don't have room for the last one, so I'm going to put it somewhere else. But as you can see, they're going to bounce back up and put back up. Let's continue on and get our other uh, strawberries planted. Okay, another companion plant is onions. Anything in the allium family can be basically a nice uh, companion plant like chives, for instance. But in this container here, we got some red onions that that started to root themselves in our refrigerator and we decided to go ahead and put them in this container i'm only you know keeping them here just to collect the seeds from them to grow some onions the following year from seed but uh, i do want to mention that the tree kale is basically not an official companion plant to strawberries so let me make that clear tree kale or collard greens are not companion plants to strawberries uh, anything like spinach lettuce uh, even onions as we said can be uh, a companion plant to strawberries and even sweet alyssum okay and that's basically something that you can go ahead and plant so I'm going to plant at least two or three in here and then plant the other strawberries somewhere else. This is the everbearing variety, by the way, you all. As you can see, it's dry as heck. So you know they're thirsty. Uh, I'm not gonna put any fertilizer in this, in this one here, only because uh, there's a tons of earthworm castings in this container due to us actually backfilling this with comp on um, food scraps and I know there are earthworms in this container here they having a field day and so they probably got a lot of nutrients in this container so two or three may go in this one because they still need their space uh, I couldn't I can use some more soil but that's okay in this container we're trying to save on cost you all and see what I'm talking about how this can, can, be, can actually cause some problems in the near future if it was staying in, in the container for a long period of time so I'm gonna put this one right there and you do want to have space when it comes to strawberries you want to make sure you're not overcrowding them in their space even though they make all their own runners and stuff you just want to be cautious of that so, uh, I think two is enough. Yeah, two is enough. I, th I think two is enough. Yeah. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> 